Hey folks, it's Eric from Belgrade Beat, and I'm sitting here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, where I've been, you know, getting away from little winter. But um, of course, I'm dedicated to Belgrade Beat, so I still upload one video every week. And uh, this week, I am in awe of this story that's come out of Serbia. <clears throat> there's a there's a headline here of uh, hero gym teacher disarms school shooter in Serbia. And this reminds me, this is why you want to live in Serbia. One of the reasons that's good about the, one of the things that's good about the country is that it's safe. Now, this sort of thing, somebody have with mental health issues, getting a hold of a weapon and going into a school or something and trying to, it happens in a lot of places. But what does not happen in a lot of places is a hero instantly materializes and puts their life on the line to to without a weapon, without, uh, against a weapon, go and disarm the person. So yeah, apparently the guy, yeah, that's the guy. And um, apparently he went into the high school, um, he was the gym teacher in the high school and the gunman went in, in full combat gear with a bulletproof vest and so on and so forth. And um, <clears throat> yeah, just went into a philosophy class and started um, shooting at the ceiling and taking hostages, basically. Now, some students on their phone managed to notify the gym teacher who came into the classroom and sort of just uh, neutralized the situation. The only uh, injury that he sustained is to his broken knuckles, probably from beating the shit out of the guy who was doing this. So... Yeah, folks, this is why you want to live in, in Serbia, because, like, do you ever fear for that people will not stand up if they see you in trouble? No. But in a lot of countries, people will see you getting mugged or, you know, anything worse than that. And they will just, none of my business, walk away. But in Serbia, it's a country will, where people will stand up for the good and they will stand up to help other people. And it's amazing to see these sorts of values in a story like this. And I think it's a really positive story in the end, despite the fact that it happened that there was a crazy person. I mean, there's lots of crazy people in, in Serbia and there's lots of guns in Serbia, but thankfully this doesn't <laughs> happen so often. And well, I really like the story. So you can see it here on uh, DW.com in Serbian on the Blitz website. And, um, RTS has a story on it, so on and so forth. Um, the guy had no idea what he was getting into when he walked into the classroom. The students only said there's a problem, and he walked in and he was very ready to deal with even the most extreme problem. The guy had an AK-47, so yeah, folks, what can I say? I mean, this is, this is a really good reason why Serbia is safe as a country to live, where people still have a little heroic streak to them rather than this sort of, um, you know, a lot of places they don't anymore. So yeah, that's it. Coming back to Belgrade at the end of next week. Going to be there for a little bit. Not sure about the rest of the winter. I know I'm going to Africa, <laughs> South Africa for the first time, but um, still love Belgrade. Just use the colder weather, which I don't like that much, to be honest. As an opportunity to travel the world. And um, yeah, always open to collaborators on the channel who like the spirit of what I'm doing and want to do something that sort of um, helps the channel. Like if you want to interview local entrepreneurs on behalf of the channel, if you want to do segments for the channel, if they meet my standards of what's interesting and what fits the format and the brand of Belgate Beat, I will consider that. You can always email me at erik at erik.rs. If you didn't catch that, it's on lots of video descriptions. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you're doing well, Belgrade.